In the last video, we looked at the uh, the args, which is the uh, the arguments passed in by the user. Uh, there's also vars inside of uh, standard env, and that is uh, you know all the environment variables of the process. And so, you know, what exactly does that mean? Uh, we can actually uh, take a look, uh, see uh, see what all the variables are for this uh, this REPL we're using. So let's go to uh, to main um, and uh, let's say use. Actually, no. I'll just use the whole uh, the whole path. So let's see. It's also um, you know it's like this uh, this args uh, function. It'll uh, it'll also give us like uh, something that we can iterate over. So uh, env uh, vars like that, and let's uh, let's print them out. So item and let's see exactly what we get. So let's cargo run this. And we get a whole bunch of uh, interesting stuff. So um, you know, these all start out with uh, with capital capital letters, and uh, so these are all the um, all the variables for the environment. So there's the cargo version, there's the the name of the person, there's you know a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, you know, here's the language there, and US. So this is everything that it's running uh, running under. Everything that you might want to know about the uh, the current. Uh, environment path uh, there's some some python going on here uh, here's some information on the REPL REPL ID it's got its own unique ID blah 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 term user and so uh, and then it you know prints everything out uh, so there's quite a bit of stuff there so there is um, so we can actually work with this uh, a little bit um, there's a there's a macro actually called uh, env and uh, what that will do is uh, pull up the thing that uh, that matches the uh, the name of the uh, environment variable. So let's say uh, env, and uh, you know which one which one should we pull up? Let's uh, REPL slug. That looks nice. So let's say hey, whoops, uh, REPL slug. Please, uh, you know, please show me what that is, and then uh, we can say cargo run. Okay, what is REPL slug? And it says, okay, here's the uh, here's what that environmental variable is about. And we can say, okay, how about uh, user? And we'll do that, and we'll say, what is the user? Please tell me that. And then you go to uh, cargo run again, and the user is called uh, runner apparently. Uh, now this uh, this env. Uh, um, macro is going to panic if it doesn't uh, get something that matches. So if we do this, um, I guess it's not going to panic, but it's not going to work. So uh, no, could not compile, uh, and so that uh, that didn't work. So what we're going to do instead of that is uh, what's called option env, and then uh, this is going to, of course, give an option. So let's just print out uh, the result of that. So the option, you know, it says, "Hey, there's uh, there's nothing there," uh, and then if we change this to user, which actually matches something uh, in the environment variables, then you have uh, sum and runner, and so it uh, gives us some information on that. So, of course, um, <clears throat> this can you know, this is uh, you know useful useful when you uh, when you need to use it. You know, uh, match uh, you can match on. Uh, and, you know the display or the uh, it'll also tell you like the the cores of the of the uh, computer sometimes or um, uh, what kind of architecture they're using and of course that's going to be really uh, really useful to match on if you're uh, if you're writing something that depends on uh, whatever uh, the user is doing uh, in their environment so that was just a quick look at uh, at this and you can see there's um, a few other uh, you know, potentially helpful uh, functions here that'll that'll tell you about uh, you know the the vari variables in the environment, uh, you know, the current directory, uh, the executable running right now, uh, stuff like that. Actually, let's try this current exe. Let's just bring that in. Current uh, current exe, and uh, that should be standard env current exe, I think. Uh, standard env. Let's see what we get. 
So there you go. It's telling us uh, this is the name of the, uh, the executable. So anyway, lots of uh, lots of potentially useful stuff inside here, and uh, it's all inside uh, standard standard env.